Besides being brothers in the church. Right. So we hung out, and I don't know if we're trying to be an example from, for Nate or whatever, you know. And so we, we I, when I tell you we travel, we, I know we covered three states that day. <laughs> and when that old song says, I just couldn't rest contented, <laughs> well, we were not content. No matter where we went, where we went shopping, didn't see none. We finally, uh, on some road, we finally found a restaurant. I don't even know if I know how to get there to this day. We go in the restaurant, we tell the lady, uh, a, a three please. Where they seated us was right in the middle of the restaurant, but the table was set for four. Wow. So the three of us are sitting there, and this, I ain't gonna mention names, this is the first time I saw one guy just eat a whole plate. It was a mountain of meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna mention no names. I, I, I know that can't be healthy, but they had a plate of just meat. I'm trying to think was it a buffet place where when you order like that, you must be serving yourself. Um, so we're sitting there and finally, finally, when there's nothing to do but loosen your belt. <laughs> when there's nothing to do but just sit back and loosen your belt, then the real stuff that the three of us were going through that we weren't telling nobody, let alone each other, began to spill out. Evangelists, when I tell you three, it, 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 in the private setting, I would say three grown gorillas. But because, you know, it, this is worldwide, and, and people don't know me like that. Uh, three grown men sitting at this table in the middle of a restaurant, boo-hooing. Because we, need, we were running from stuff. Yeah. Run, running from stuff in our home. Running from the pressures. And run, not running away. Okay, y'all don't hear that. We were running away. Everyone went back to their home that right. night. But we were running and, and we, we, we weren't even confiding in each other right. until, until the Holy Ghost uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. got us to slow yeah. down. Y'all yeah. don't like my story, yeah. but it's true. Yeah. And then something happened that really messed us up. We realized, wait a minute, we're in the middle of this restaurant crying. Mm -hmm. right. And we can't be ashamed because no one is paying us any attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one is like, oh, y'all right? Or, you know, nowadays, somebody get on the phone. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. don't follow the news. 911. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 911. There are three black men. Yeah. 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 If you know the news, you know the joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a joke, but, you know, yeah. it's a joke on a whole lot of folks' Instagram pages and stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, 911, there's three black men in the restaurant. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. But they're not eating, they're talking after they ate it. <laughs> they said you know, no. so, so that didn't happen. Then we realized, wait a minute. I see you, I see you, y'all see me. This fourth chair is empty. So we thought. Let me tell you right now, no matter how far we went, the Holy Ghost went to that restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I wish somebody at home would understand yeah. and start shouting. Yeah. The Holy Ghost went to that restaurant and sat there so that no one else could occupy that yes. table. Yes. Oh, you, you, listen, you yeah. can believe it the way you want. I lived it. Right. Oh. Yeah. And sat there and waited for us mm -hmm. and allowed, uh, and probably said, oh, 